third episode of the day and this is a continuation of yesterday's video but on yesterday's video we spoke about the meanings behind the badge of the dove church the dove second uh, branch of the zcc we spoke about that meaning of the entire thing according to them and then we came and we concluded that the meaning is very very dodgy and weird for christians to be looking at and saying this is something to be honorable but on top of that i will come back to the second badge which is the badge of the staff but today i wanted to ask the question who is the god of ZCC because the God of ZCC according to their magazine is known as the God of the mountain and people think the God of the mountain God Jehovah it could be anything it could be anybody for example it could be Hermes Hermes was born in the mountain in the caves that is not God <laughs> Hermes is not God uh, but if you go back into Hermes story he has a story about cows and they have a cow on their on their mountain but something very weird about Hermes is that Hermes is also known dare I say Hermes is also known as the conductor of the souls so it kind of made me question who is the God of ZCC because if you are looking at all these these Greek uh, symbols they have something that alludes to the god of the mountains and the god of the mountains i've stated before we made an entire episode is the god of zcc Escalapius? because we know zcc is very obsessed with healing okay the whole thing of detail law and whatnots and and all these kind of things this instruction that they give people to go and do this go prepare this tea concoction and whatnot remember Escalapius, revered by modern medicine as the god of medicine and guess why do I bring up Escalapius? Because when the leader of the ZCC church is marching with his brass band, he holds a stick with a rope around it from the bottom all the way up to the top. Guess what the symbol for Escalapius was? It was a rod with a snake on it. And now this particular rod, if you go to the parliament, it looks very, very similar to the rod, to the rod in the parliament. Uh, and remember, that is a symbol of power and authority. It's a symbol of power and authority and liberty, as you might also call it. Is it liberty? Who is the God over there? Then we can determine if it is the rod of liberty. We go back to the badge. We're not going to fully dissect the badge here, but the badge is known among Satanists as bafflement. And this we will tackle later on and we will look at certain things when it comes to this particular idea of the goat there can be taken back to the goat of the Old Testament. When you had the goats for, for, for offering, things of that one was transferred to the other one. And once that one carried thingy, it was let off. And that scapegoat, they say, we don't want that, that goat away, kicked out. We want that goat, bring it here, we will worship that goat, which is where the, the symbol of the goat of Baphomet comes from. So we have all these things that are showing all us different kind of things. We have Escalapius within the rope and the rod that uh, the leader of the, uh, the, the bishop holds over there. We have the Baphomet symbol, which is literally the idea of protection. You will remember from yesterday's episode, we illustrated that uh, these symbols that they have are in illustration of protection. Now they are with the symbol of bafflement we then have hermes who is the leader of the herd remember hermes within his story uh, stole the cows of his of his brother and he led them to uh, to a distant very interesting also known as the conductor of the souls into hades so you could read a lot of things in what i just said in the last 10 seconds over <laughs> if you have the cow figure within thingy and you are speaking about the god of the mountain that's where hermes was born that's where the greek god hermes was born and he leads the cows and where does he lead the cow he leads the cows <laughs> conductor of the souls into hades who is the god of this church <laughs> Who is the God of this church? There's a lot of questions. Oh, is it the God of healing? They seem to be very obsessed with healing. They take teas and they do whatnot. As a matter of fact, 
which is where the symbol of the cow also comes in there because they believe that you know people would rub the the oil of the cow on their kids in order to, to portray good luck and fertility uh, to their kids and that's why some of the people uh, revere the cow but also bear in mind the cow is not exactly referred to unto god the cow is referred to unto the devil because you see that in the book israelites were coming out of egypt they were worshiping a cow you see that in exodus and deuteronomy and so forth they created an image of this cow now we know that the cow in ZCC they say they say it's the clan name of the leader that's a problem remember in church we are not there to worship your clan name we are there to worship god so who is the god of this church what's going on mystery of religions you read the revelation it talks about that the mystery of religion uh, it's the worship of the multiple is what you are worshiping all gods which is what is happening in india if you look at it they worship everything everything as a god and nothing is sacred paul gets to the uh, to this group of individuals and he rebukes them they think um, they have gods for everything but there is this one god who is unknown until we name him uh, he remains unknown paul says that god is not unknown as a matter of fact he is the god that you guys should be seeking to know because there is no other god apart from him why is it that there is so much like when you read the bible is very clear about our portrayal of god but here you're not seeing a clear portrayal of god you're seeing a multiple greekish you are seeing all these mythologies fulfilled within this picture of what is god within satanism you see some of it and you see within greek mythology you see some of it within a modern medicine and her and escalapis you see it some of it in the ZCC church, what's going on, man? The, the tea packaging also contains a symbol that says perfect. Uh, are you finding perfection within the tea? What this question does, it doesn't give you any answers. And this video isn't meant to give you answers. It's, make, it's meant to make you think. When they say the God of the mountains, I've shown you that that can refer to something else. And God is not referred to that as... Uh, as the God of the mountains in the Bible. And uh, you can also go into the obsession with healing and all that kind of stuff. It refers to, to, to Greek mythology, not, not Christian. You will not find a cross at ZCC. And the cross is a symbol of the victory. And yesterday we mentioned this point, if you, for, if you, didn't, if you don't remember, yesterday we spoke about the, the, oral, the oral leaves being a symbol of victory and that has nothing to do with god you don't see jesus with a crown of oral leaves that speaks about a different victory what's going on you be the one that answers later on maybe we'll tackle that particular subject about the badge but on this particular episode i wanted to show you that when you're worshiping the mystery religion god anything goes anything there's everything but god it's just a scene. There is all gods. There is the, the bafflement. There is Hermes in the mountains. There is, there is the calling affirmed by a bird. There is everything but the cross. And you cannot tell me you will find salvation in that. It's Ricky's Reality Show with the Daily Christian Commentary videos. And I'll see you on a later on. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos. And I will see you on a later on. Uh, stay blessed. Ask the question. You can argue in the comment section. All I do is pray that you will ask the questions. Where is the cross? In all this symbolism,